Miles. I'm Elon. And I'm Colin. And, and this, this is OTN. OTN. So Elon, what's OTN? Well, the Alice Television Network is your weekly dose of school and local news with a twist of entertainment. This week, we'll be looking at what's happening around the school. See how our sports teams performed. And find the ultimate jokester. This is OTN, and it starts right, right now. now. Colin, are you a good artist? Not exactly, but we can probably find one. Uh. Hey, watch it. Yeah, that's right, I'm talking to you. All right, who's saying that? It's me, the trash can, what does it look like? A trash can? Yeah, okay. No, seriously, it is. How are you talking to me? Don't worry about that. Why are you throwing stuff at me? I'm trying to win 100 bucks. I like money. Talk to her. Oh yeah, Ben Salem Education Foundation's running a logo contest. You want 100 bucks if you win. Oh, so maybe use like an owl? Yeah, with like an owl on it. Maybe write BEF. And, and gray. gray. Yeah. Did we just become best friends? Yes. You know what goes great with some pizza? A little drama. Oh, I didn't see you there. You caught me in my own home. I'm a member of the drama club, and uh, you know, we're always looking for new cast and crew. Hey, what, what's this? <laughs> oh, jeez. Ah, uh, just kidding. You know, you never know what you're gonna find here at the drama club. In our shows. Who's interrupting my interview? <laughs> oh, what the heck was that all about? Huh. Oh, free pizza. Oh, Terra Nova is October 14th. I'll be there. Oh, no way. Fingles, we're heading into October. You know what that means? Halloween! No. Well, yes, but something even better. Homecoming. Hi, my name is Brian Kilcoyne. Uh, I'm involved with the, uh, the soccer, basketball, SGA, and yearbook. And my, I plan on going to college and playing soccer in college. And my advice to underclassmen is to get involved because it's actually a really fun time. Hi, I'm Tori Brewer. I was involved with uh, soccer my freshman year. I run cross country, track and field. 
I am the vice president of varsity club and I'm involved in building bridges. After uh, high school, I plan to major in pre-dental and then go to dental school. Some advice for the underclassmen would be stay focused and never forget the road ahead. Hi, my name is Alon Fingles. In high school, I was heavily involved in a lot of activities. From freshman year to junior year, I was class president. I'm also involved with SGA, OTN, and I'm also on the soccer team. Beyond high school, I think for college I'll be playing soccer somewhere, I'm not sure where yet, and I will probably be majoring in marketing. My advice for underclassmen would be to do your homework, get good grades, and really study hard in high school because it's going to pay off in the long run. I am Danielle Nightlinger. I was in girls varsity soccer for three years, girls spring track for one. I'm the class of 2014 secretary for all four years. I was in ski club. OTN and student government. After high school, when I graduated, I plan on going to college and becoming a photographer. And for underclassmen, I advise you guys to get involved. Four years sounds long, but it goes by very fast, and it, you're going to miss high school more than anything. Hi, I'm Kyle Francis. Uh, some activities I've been in throughout high school are I'm a member of SGA, I run track and cross country. Um, and as far as my plans for after high school, I plan on attending G uh, Georgetown University or Duke University uh, to study history and education and also run track um, there. And uh, as far as freshman advice goes, I would say get involved. That's how you make friends and you branch out and build a college resume and just have fun with high school. Hi, I'm Isabel Hansberry and I participated in tennis indoor track and softball throughout my years of high school. Um, my plans after high school are I'm going to be attending Temple University and I'll be playing softball there. And my advice to freshmen is just get the best grade you can, try to be at the top of your class. Hi, my name is Brian Leibel. Uh, throughout the years of Ben Salem, I participated in football and building bridges. Uh, after high school, I plan on going to a four-year college and getting a degree, either majoring in education or criminal justice. Um, any advice on their class then is to just get involved with something that you're passionate about and have fun with high school because it goes by fast. Hi, I'm Leslie John. Some activities that I've participated in throughout my high school career is freshman basketball, activities committee, prom committee. Um, I'm vice president of my class right now. I did building bridges, uh, OTN. Plans after high school is to go to a four-year university and pursue education to be a, an English teacher at, um, at a high school. Some advice that I would give to underclassmen would be just to keep um, focused, stay on top of your game, um, try not to slack, and just do your best and have a fun year. My name is Brian Real, and I'm the commanding officer of the Ben Salem High School JROTC program where I'm on the drill team and the shooting team. I'm also a member of the NHS program, the National Honor Society. After high school, I plan on attendi attending the United States Naval Academy, where I can pursue a commission as an officer in the United States Navy. Some advice for any incoming freshmen, get involved and stay on top of things, because high school matters and it will be over before you know it. Hi, I'm Taylor Destralo. At my time here at Ben Salem High School, I participated in girls soccer, building bridges. I'm the secretary of NHS, and I participated in PJS, and I made it to states every year. And after high school, I'm planning on going to a four-year college and majoring in engineering. And my advice for underclassmen is just make new friends and don't care about popularity. Just find people who have things in common with you, and that's where you'll find your best friends. Hey, my name is Eric Corey, and I participated in varsity soccer, varsity track, and SGA. I plan on attending Pennsylvania State University for engineering, and for underclassmen, I uh, think you should keep your grades up high. My name is Kelly Frederick. I played softball, volleyball, and I'm in varsity club. I want to go to Temple University and study sports marketing. And some advice for future freshmen is stay true to who you are and don't lose sight of your future. The athletics this year have really been top-notch. Let's see what happened this week in sports. What's up, Ben Salem? 
I'm Justin. And I'm Corey. Today we have a feature for you to watch between the Ben Sam Owls football team and the Penridge Rams. A very hard-fought game by the Owls and the Rams. I would say. And in say. the end, the Rams were to come away with this win, 37-6. An unfortunate loss, but they still fought hard, did the Owls. Yep. If you guys want to see more home games, October 4th is homecoming. It's a really important date. Be sure to come out and show support for your Owls. Absolutely. We want all you fans to come out and show your support. So enjoy this feature. And go Owls. And running out onto the field, your 2013 Ben Salem Owls. The game starts with Penridge kicking off to Ben Salem, who will start their drive on the 31-yard line. Quarterback George Pegram completes a 12-yard pass to Saquon Riggins for a first down. The Rams' defense really stuffs the Owls' offense. The Owls showing some really strong defense. Great Owls defense forces a three and out. And Alex Arcangeli powers through the defense. Botched punt forces the Owls to make a run for the first down. Ben Salm's defense stopping the run. Penridge, looking for a touchdown, gets denied by the Ben Salem defense. Al scored a touchdown, and the crowd went wild as the marching band performed the fight song right before the half. Alice quarterback George Pegram scrambling for a first down. This past Monday, the Ben Salem High School Owls took on Tennant High School in golf. Unfortunately, we lost. However, despite the loss, our players did extremely well. Seniors Tyler and Parth scored 44 and 45. Juniors Matt and Nolan scored 45 and 59. And freshman Ryan Gladu scored 48. Still a great attempt. The Ben Salem Owls golf team finished up their season Thursday the 26th. Be sure to come out next year either to support the golf team or join it yourself. Remember, always stay Ben Salem strong. cross country because that's all I think about. On September 14th, the Ben Salem cross country team went against 20 other schools at the Bulldog Invitational. Sophomore Rahi Shah runs an impressive display of 1859 at the Bulldog Invitational, placing him at 66. So let's see what he has to say about the Invitational. 
I'm Rahi. I'm a sophomore at this school. We gonna show Bucks County, Delaware County, every single school what's up. Senior Kyle Francis runs a season record of 16-21, placing him 21st. This is the first time the boys have been at the Bulldog Invitational in over a decade. Now let's see what some of the new members have to say. <laughs> Today I'm a, I'm a run. Uh, I don't really have much expectations except to go, you know, around 19 or 20, something like that. But, uh, you know, we're going to beat the Chamonix. <laughs> Kyle Brock has showed a strong display of leadership after being tripped by an opponent and continuing to finish at the end. So let's see what he has to say about the season. It's, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. This is, this is going to be a fun yes. course. I, I, hope to, I hope to do really well. And, yeah, it's going to be a great season. Thank you. It's going to be a great season. What's up? On September 18th, Ben Salem faces Tenet and Council Rock South in a dual meet with over 60 competitors. Senior Tori Brower has a great start to the race. Junior Steph Brooks is not that far behind. Tori in fifth place is approaching the two mile mark. I won't make the same mistakes as you. Let's see how long you last when the world turns back on you. Following behind in eighth place is Steph. Approaching the two mile mark in 13th place is junior Francesca Bala. In 14th place is sophomore Katarina. Following behind in 15th place is junior Cheyenne Schwartz. Make sure to support the girls at their next meet on October 2nd. Hi, I'm Danielle Matlinger, and I'm bringing you out to the Ben Salem girls soccer team as they take on the Pensbury Falcons. <laughs> Defender Kayla Ryan, with nowhere to go, passes the ball to the goalie as she clears it up the field. Then Pensbury takes the ball, but Ben Salem's right behind them as they get repossession and Amanda Myers passes it to Sid Doherty. but Pensbury steers the ball, keeping Ben Salem away from their net. Kayla Ryan takes on two Pensbury girls as she passes the ball up the field to Captain Bree Roth as she goes one-on-one -on -one with Pensbury's defender. Sid Doherty stepping in front, taking the ball, then passing it off to Amanda Myers. 
going one-on-one -on -one with Pensbury, but Kayla Ryan's not far behind to save Ben Salem's defense. Captain Bree Rock takes the ball down the field, passing not one, but two Pensbury players. It's Paige Wendling stealing the ball with a fake to the left but goes to the right and brings it upfield. Megan Wash is the flag, Pensbury's corner kick, keeping Ben Salem in the game at 0-0. The Dallas field hockey team took on the Pensbury Falcons for their home opener this year. With Pensbury scoring first, the Owls defense stepped it up. Senior Morgan Buchner sends the ball up the field in Independence territory and continues to lead the Owls offense toward the goal with the help of fellow senior Come Mariah Pete. Come on. Junior Brianna Buchner played a key part in the Owls defense against Pensbury. The Owls struggled with Pensbury's tough offense and entered halftime trailing Pensbury by five. The Owls regrouped and were able to hold off Pensbury's offense and sophomore Autumn McBride was able to put the Owls on the board by scoring with 6.37 left in the game, ending the game with the score on 5-1. Great job, Owls. What's up, Ben Salem? I'm Nicole. And I'm Kirsten. On September 10th, our boys varsity soccer team traveled to Pensbury to take on the Falcons in their league opener. Our Fighting Owls are currently on a five-game win streak, so come out and support our boys. Hope you enjoy this feature. Senior Brian Cochrane taps to junior Chris Jurgensen to start the game. Senior Chris Cochrane makes a sliding stop to save the goal. Senior Jimmy McDowell sends the ball up the field. Senior Mike Henry scores to put the Owls up 1-0. Ah! 
The Falcons score, tying the game up 1-1. Sophomore Omar Luviano puts his body on the line, blocking the shot. Elon Fingal sends the ball over the top of the defense. Jorgensen jumps in the air for a 50-50 ball. Jack Lee just misses the shot from 25 yards out. scoring two more goals, putting them ahead 3-1 to one lead over the Owls. Unfortunately, the Owls lost 3-1 to one in their league opener and look to bounce back in their next game. Libero J.D. Michelle has the first serve to CR North, serving a deep ball over the net. Once over, Brianna Brackett has a bump. Setter Amber Jaws sets outside Kelly Frederick, hitting a deep corner. Getting a free ball from CR North, Jade bumps to Amber when Jess Ferdinand free balls over the net. Getting a down ball, Kelly bumps up the ball, Amber setting a 10 ball for Jade, hitting over to CR North. Another down ball from CR North, Jay digs the ball making Brianna Brackett set and making a free ball over. Another down ball from CR North, Jade bumps right behind her, Brianna helps the set when Jess Ferdinand free balls over. CR North does a smart play to end the volley by tipping the ball over making CR North win the point. CR North serves a short ball making Angie Beniagua bump over the net. Once on CR North side, their hit is incomplete, giving the point to Ben Salem. Setter Alexis Goldsby serves to CR North, but their pass was not clean. Ben Salem wins another point. Alexis serves again, but CR North touches the ball, having an ace for the girls. Alexis Goldby serves one more time, but loses her point by serving short. After giving CR North a few points in the start of the second match, the girls side out and Amber Judge serves for the girls. Amber Judge gets first serve, making it over. Seal North has the serve. Brianna gets the first bump, Amber doing an underhand set when Alexis free balls over. Receiving a down ball, Amber touches the ball, making Jade bump it up when Brianna free balls over. Seal North ends the volley by tipping the ball over. A serve from CR North, Jade bumps to Amber, setting for Brianna to hit a 10 ball.
Another serve from CR North, Brandon gets the bump when Alexa sets and Jade comes to free ball it. Seniors Megan Pegler and Jasmine Bonet took over their court 6-4, 6-2, finishing their season with a 5-7 record. Ben Salem working hard on the back line to later win their set 6-4. Jasmine misses, but teammate Megan picks it up and Jasmine later punches it net, setting the score 30 all. Juniors Gabby Nightlinger and Jildy Patel took over their court 6 2 6 3, finishing their season with a 3 7 record. The girls soared through the season, setting a record of 5 wins, surpassing 25 years of girls' tennis. Congratulations, girls! Jody serves it in, starting off a game-winning point for Ben Salem, tying it up 2-2. Ben Salem lobs it over, forcing their opponents back to the service line. Jasmine forehands it over, giving Megan time to set, then come in for the kill at net, ending the score 15 love Ben Salem. Hi, I'm Gabby Neitlinger, reporting here for the girls' tennis team. Today, we have senior Jasmine Bonet. So, Jasmine, in a few words, how would you sum up the girls' tennis team? Well, I see them as a big family, big sisters and stuff. Big sisters, little sisters. You know, I have fun with them. I'm going to miss them when I leave, so. So when did you start playing tennis, and why did you? I started playing tennis since freshman year and I played tennis because my sister, she also joined when she was in this high school. The team had a great match, taking over six of the seven courts and ending their season with a 4-7 to seven record. Ben Salem cheerleaders welcome in the varsity football team. This year's squad has 32 cheerleaders, including girls and boys. There's eight seniors leading the team this year, and they're expecting a great season. The cheerleaders are looking forward to their first competition in December. Come out and support the cheerleaders and the football team this season. Just this month, we welcomed our new principal, Mr. Brandt, and OTN got a chance to sit down with him. Let's take a look. Hi, I'm Alon Fingles, and I'm here with Mr. Stephen Brandt, the new principal of Bed Sound High School. Mr. Brandt, how you doing today? Good, good. Thank you for having me. No problem. So, uh, if you don't mind, hope we just get some you start with. Sure. So, Mr. Brandt, what made you go into education, and how long have you been involved with it? You know what, uh, I, I've been in education uh, a little over 15 years, and really it was by the urging of one of my high school teachers. I uh, really thought that, that, I would, uh, that I had a personality suited for education, and, uh, and you know, when I was younger I really didn't think that that was a pathway for me. I was actually heading uh, to law school, and uh, I just enjoyed working with uh, kids and coaching, and you know, as I went down the law school pathway, it just, you know, that wasn't my cup of tea, and I wound up teaching uh, in California out of necessity, and I enjoyed it, and then moved back east uh, to Philadelphia where I grew up, 
and started uh, teaching there. And I've never looked back. It's been a great career so far. So what are your short and long-term goals for Ben Salem? Sure. You know, the, the short-term goals is, is to really kind of make a culture change here at Ben Salem High School. Uh, really, hopefully, bring in some new energy, uh, you know, bring in a little discipline and structure. Uh, and really, you know, the short term kind of aligns with the long term uh, in terms of building new programs here and really trying to make us, you know, not only one of the best high schools in Bucks County, but also hopefully in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania and eventually the nation. Uh, you know, and it's going to come with, with making sure that our instructional programming is very rigorous. Uh, that we are challenging our students and that we build some programs that, that really appeal to their interest and really meet the needs of the 21st century. Uh, what are some changes you would like to see implemented at DHS? Well, like I said, I would like to see new programs uh, brought into the building. Uh, obviously, this OTM program is a phenomenal program. I ran a similar program at my previous location. Uh, but really looking at programs to see what can we bring in, you know, an engineering program, maybe an architecture program. Uh, you know, talking to the student body and finding out what they're interested in. You know, you know, maybe a medical program, biotechnology. There's so many options out there that we can look at. Uh, you know, and the things that we're already doing, like a business uh, program or business academy. Uh, you know, that why you know you don't throw the the water out with the you know the baby out with the bathwater. Uh, you know, you keep those programs and make sure that we we update them. That that we make sure that that we modernize modernize them and really make sure that, that they're challenging our students and that they're building the skills necessary for them to go out into the professional world, uh, hopefully after going to college, uh, and really being successful. If you had to pick one, what piece of advice would you give to your students? You know, believe in yourself. I think that that's really the key to everything, making sure that you believe in yourself and knowing that you can accomplish whatever you put your uh, mind and heart to. Uh, and really never settling for anything less and never letting anyone derail you from, from what your goals are and what your vision is. Beautiful. So now that you're a part of the, the Ben Salem family, why don't you tell us a little bit about your own? Sure. Uh, I, you know, I've, I've been married for about 12 years. Um, I married, you could essentially say, my high school sweetheart. Uh, we were together six years prior to that. Uh, we have three beautiful boys, uh, a 10-year-old, an 8-year-old, and a 1-year-old. Uh, my boys uh, have really taken a love of athletics and sports, just like myself. Uh, growing up, I played uh, varsity football, basketball, and baseball, uh, all at Roxborough High School, where I just joined you guys from. Uh, and that was one of the key reasons why I, I took on the challenge of of leading Roxborough High School because it was my alma mater and I wanted to make a change there and make a difference. And, uh, and really so, you know, my, my, I love what I do. I love working with, with kids and, and in high schools. And, uh, and then in my spare time, I enjoy, you know, really spending time with my family and, and supporting my boys as, as uh, obviously we prioritize education with them, but also uh, as they embrace and, and, you know, play various sports and athletics. So uh, it seems right now that, that baseball and basketball are the, uh, the household favorites. Uh, so you mean you told us about Roxborough High School, where you went to high school. Where yeah. did you go to college? Uh, you know what, I went to Cabrini College and I got a bachelor's in English from Cabrini, but actually not for education, just uh, general English. Uh, and I chose English as my major really to strengthen some of my weaknesses uh, because, as I said, I was preparing myself for law school. And, uh, and I wound up graduating from Cabrini College. Uh, moving to California and briefly attended uh, Whittier Law School in Costa Mesa, California. And it was really, in all honesty, just too expensive for me. And I wound up taking a job teaching in a Catholic school out in West Covina. And I just enjoyed uh, teaching. I was coaching football. And, uh, and I decided to move back east and, and basically continued, decided, made the decision to continue in education. I returned to Cabrini College and got my master's. Uh, and my principal certification, I taught in Philadelphia, and then in you know between then and now, I have since returned to uh, St. Joseph's University for my superintendent's letter, and then I'm currently enrolled now at uh, Temple University for my PhD. So um, we know you're a big sports guy, absolutely. But uh, what, other, what other activities did you participate in while you're at uh, Cabrini and Roxborough? Sure. I'm, you know, growing up because obviously besides valuing athletics, I also value education. I was a member of the National Honor Society. Uh, I participated on the uh, on Roxborough High School Science Bowl team. Uh, Pico Energy would run a, a science bowl every year. 
Uh, so I did that. And really, I just involved myself in, in kind of whatever I was interested in and, and, and you know, obviously working towards hopefully building a college resume uh, to get me into the schools that, that I desired. And, and that obviously worked. Uh, and, you know, so for me, it was pretty much, uh, you know, I spend, like I said, a lot of my time uh, either playing sports or working out, uh, running and just, you know, doing odd things and spending time with my family. And really my relaxation is uh, going to the beach. I'm a big beach guy. So, uh, you know, some waves and, and the sun uh, and sand beneath my feet is, uh, is paradise. So I'm thinking back to Roxborough again. What would you say your favorite high school memory is? My favorite high school memory. Wow, you know that that there's so many because you know high school is a really great time. You know, you know, uh, you know you have some responsibility, but at the end of the day, you know you're living with your parents and 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 you have them guiding you. Uh, you know, really just kind of hanging out w with my friends and playing sports with my friends. I think some of the you know the greatest memories are are uh, are, are playing uh, sports at school with my friends. And really, I guess one of the you know, one of the key memories uh, that I had was basically probably my JV year playing uh, quarterback, and uh, and I threw an interception. And and I, for those that know me, I just hate to lose. Uh, and and the the other quarterback had had said a couple. Uh, he was playing defense, and he had said a couple things about my interception. Uh, so I had the coach put me in a defensive back, and uh, and basically I. Re I wound up uh, picking off his pass, uh, but I returned it for six. So uh, you know that that gratification uh, was 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 up one of the highlights, but but one of many. Um, what kind of music do you listen to? You know, I listen to kind of everything. The only thing I don't listen to is would probably probably be like classical and opera. You know, that's not really my my, my thing. Uh, you know, old country. I don't really listen to. Uh, some of the new stuff, you know, like Blake Shelton stuff is, is okay, uh, Florida Georgia Line. Uh, but really, I, look, I listen to everything from contemporary pop to, to rap, you know, uh, to, to whatever, you know. So, and, and nowadays, I, I think I'm getting to a point where uh, I don't pick my own music anymore. You know, it's whatever my kids want to listen to. You know, it kind of dictates what's on the radio for me. So, um, outside of work, uh, Mr. Brand, in his free time, you know, what, what do you like to do? Uh, like I said, I do I, I do a lot of sports with with my boys. Uh, you know, uh, as for as demanding as this job is, I do you know try to prioritize my own family, and uh, and I try to coach as much as possible. So, for instance, right now I'm coaching little league fall ball, uh, and in the spring I coach little league baseball as well. Uh, in the winter time I will coach uh, basketball. You know, for my boys, uh, whatever they're playing. And, uh, and although I don't take a head coaching job, I usually take an assistant job just so I could have the flexibility if something's going on at school that, that obviously I can make the commitment and, and, and not fall through on the commitment there. Uh, but, you know, I try to be there as much as possible and, and serve as an assistant. And that's really, you know, what I like to do. You know, I go to the gym, you know, uh, and uh, try to get a run in whenever I can. And, and that's kind of what I do. I like watching movies and, and cinema. Uh, which is why I think you know a program like OTN probably would have been very attractive and appealing to uh, me when I was going through high school. So, is there anything that we missed, or you think we should cover we didn't know about? You? No, you know, I think everything kind of came up. You know, I'm just very competitive. You know, I have the drive, and and really, I'm looking forward to working with the uh, students and the staffs and and the families of uh, Ben Salem High School, and really working together to kind of make this you know the premier high school in Bucks County and hopefully in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. Uh, and, uh, and, you know, I'm looking forward to a great ride. So we definitely gained some insight on you today. Uh, we appreciate your participation. And now we just want to move on to a little bit of a speed round. Excellent. All right, we'll give you uh, two options. You just pick your answer and we're going to fly okay. right through them. Jeez, right. it's a little bit scary here. <laughs> Are you ready? Sure. Okay. Go. Orange or blue? Blue. Pancakes or waffles? Uh, waffles. Phillies or Mets? Phillies. Elmo or Big Bird? Big Bird. Chocolate or vanilla? Vanilla. Mac or PC? Oh, Mac. Dog or cat? Dog. Summer or winter? Summer. A week without water or a week without food? A week without water. And a power of super strength or a power of invisibility? Super strength. There you go. Thank you very much. No, thank you. So, Devin, you're a Phillies guy. That's a plus. Absolutely. I think a lot of Ben Salmon guys here will appreciate that. I can't, I can't believe you even wrote Mets into the question. Yeah, I was thinking about it. Why even bother? Yeah, all exactly. Right. All right, thank you very much once again. Oh, thank it's you. Been a pleasure. It's been my, all mine. Thank you. Thank you.
Knock, knock. Who's there? Doris. Doris who? Doors locked. That's why I'm knocking. <laughs> Hi, I'm Chris Kilquin with OTN, and today we're going to be asking our students clever jokes to test their knowledge. <laughs> What's the difference between a guitar and a fish? I don't know. <laughs> you can't tune a fish. Uh, what's red and bad for your teeth? I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. A brick. A brick? What do you call a fake noodle? Um, a fake noodle? An impasta. <laughs> what do you call an alligator that wears a vest? Chill, yeah. An investigator. Well, well. What did the baby corn say to the mama corn? I don't know. <laughs> Where's popcorn? <laughs> All right, um, can you tell me any jokes? Yeah, um, why did the chicken cross the playground? I don't know why. To get to the other slide. <laughs> As you can tell, the students at BHS are quite the jokesters. This morning, I found out that my brother passed away in a head-on collision with a car. The person in the car was texting and driving. I would ask that person, was that text really that important? Now, because of that crash, I lost my best friend. He's gone, and I don't know what to do anymore. Please, don't text and drive. It's coming to that time of the day. But before we close, let's see the quote of the day. We have a test of my day. There's a party this weekend at Tommy's and everybody's going to be there. Are you going to go? I don't think so. I have to study for this test. I mean, it should be easy, but I want to study just in case. Test day! I knew I was going to fail this test. Why is this so hard? Maybe I can copy off of Shannon.
I see Hannah trying to cheat, but it's just not going to happen. I'm so happy I studied for this test. It's so easy. I'm so glad I believed in myself. Well, that's all for today, Alice. So until next time, be great. And always stay Ben Salem strong.